when difficulty comes in too much, they are continuously crying on to Allah that what have they done wrong? The difficulty is overwhelming them. We pray that Allah take all difficulty away and that He grant us this immense muhabbat and love for the Divine the Presence. No matter what you pray for in life of money and property or possessions, the only gift that counts is a gift of love. If Allah grant a gift of love within the heart then Prophet described that servant is the richest of Allah's servant. For if Allah should give anything other than love, it has no value in Divine the Presence. It's not something that you can take even towards eternity. You can't take your positions, you can't take money, you can't take anything into Allah's presence. But what we can take is this muhabbat and love that Allah to grant us and be from ahbab. Everything around will be loving the servant. Everything. That's this hadith from Maqam al Ihsan. And when Sayyidina Jibreel came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it was a long hadith to explain what is Islam, what is Iman, what is Maqam al Ihsan. It's to worship Allah as if you're seeing Allah. Worshipness, not pray. But every worshipness to see Allah And if you don't see Allah to know that Allah is seeing you. Which is even a deeper reality that everything they're doing is for Allah That when Allah orders them, if you love me, follow Sayyidina Muhammad I will love you. This was the greatest command. The easiest command that your most beloved servant, Samina wa Tana, our mission is to love Sayyidina Muhammad more than we love ourselves. That door opened every ishq. Because Allah says, I love you. Ghafur Rahim. No doubt you have sins and you're in a continuous state of sinning on this earth. This is the month of Ghamar. This is the 54. The six is for wadud through the power of nine because this is a path of the sultans. The 54 is the full moon and the qamar. Means that in this month Allah dressing through difficulties and completing lights upon the souls so that to give them their gifts in Rajab, Shabban and Ramadan. Or Rajab is Allah described, I give without any means and no reason why and no angel and no prophet has to see it. There's no cause and effect, I give from whatever I want to give. So the full moon month is in which Allah preparing us to be from these ashiqeen because these teachers of ours are all of the great ashiqeen. That to see that love of Allah in everything, everything of its beatific reality, then Allah will begin to make everything to love the servant. Not only they saw, because the first stage of that maqam was to see that there's a divine in everything. So who am I to disrespect it, to say something about it, give me the best of character to respect it. Allah's divine light is Rabbul Mu'mineen wa Rabbul Kafireen. It's His creation. His light is inside that creation. Every animal, every creature, every, every creation, every inanimate object, it has atoms and Allah is at a might. And they try to reach a state in which their love is, Ya Rabbi, I'm trying my best to love everything. Then Allah begin to open that my love is looking at you and approaching you and dressing you. When they smell the fragrance of the flower, they understood Allah is sending that fragrance. I want you to sense this beautific fragrance. My love is a gift and everything around me I'm gifting it to you. Do you smell its fragrance? Do you see its beauty? Do you find its pleasure and its happiness? Through all the torments of this world, 
they're still beatific gifts from Allah and those are the ones that Allah open for our hearts to cherish and to see Allah in everything and its sweetness to dress us and to bless us and then that servant is a shukr it's shukr and thankful to Allah and Allah said thank me and I give you more no problem we pray that Allah open these stations in which to see Allah's immense love in everything and it's coming back to dress us and bless us and remind us that it, this material world was not your target it was not the sign of victory that I grant you a specific car and a certain amount of paycheck the greatest gift and my greatest love is if I bring you into my divinely presence if I destined for your life to sit at the love of the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, this is an immense gift and we pray that Allah open our hearts to remember that always mm-hmm. that Ya Rabbi have given me immense gifts of muhabbat and love and that whatever you have given to me Ya Rabbi you are al-qani and the rich and that you give and never take away Ya Rabbi grant us from that love and don't take away Ya Rabbi what you granted of knowledge grant more and more and don't take away Ya Rabbi not based on my character Allah's not like humans where we do something he doesn't like he do something he likes he takes something away what Allah grants he grants and as we ask from Allah Ya Rabbi what you gave don't take away but give me more Ameen. Ameen. what you granted of rizq and sustenance and health and, and good character Ya Rabbi don't take that away but grant us more Ameen. put us more and more in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu and let these Buzugana deen the big big ones of this deen Ya Rabbi let them to safeguard us watch mm-hmm. us and faqir billahi ta'ala that Ya Rabbi I'm the first to admit to myself I'm a I'm an oppressor to myself As for Allah's way, just rahmah, mercy. Faqidilayhi. Allah's rahmah, mercy to dress us. To take away difficulties, inshaAllah. From your oceans of rahmah and mercy. Ayah 10 and 11, Shaykh. And that is the secret of Najad in this month, inshaAllah. That Allah's way, just grant us this Najad. You go to the app, open up the month, and the reality of Ramadhani, the sixth month, the sixth of love and wudud, and in the way of love, this reality of the nine and the power of these only Allah, then it becomes Surat Al Qamar. And the reality of Surat Al Qamar is the dress that Allah dressing upon only Allah in this holy month, that this is a curriculum and a course into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad. And the servant, when he realized, he's overcome, that the testing is too much, the difficulty is just too immense around, and there's no way to move through it. And that he pleads out to Allah and pleads and begs, Ya Rabbi, I am overcome, please send a help. And Allah And we opened upon our servant. The heavens, the gates of the heavens open and we shower down the water. That water for the people of Sayyidina Nu who were attacking was a aza. But for Sayyidina Nu alayhi salam it was a nijah. And for Ruhaniyat is Allah saying, I'm not going to let shaitan to destroy you and to destroy everything around you. I will open the heavens with my rahmah and the oceans of rahmah and marifa to dress upon your soul. Mm-hmm. As we're coming to you that we are overcome by difficulties and the difficulties that are opening upon this earth. The sicknesses, viruses, every type of azab Allah is going to be growing upon the earth. Ya Rabbi, and we are overcome by them. 
that shower us from your water, shower us from your waters of rahmah and mercy and to wash away these difficulties and to bless our soul mm -hmm. that you be pleased with us Ya Rabbi. Inshallah ayat al and then we'll start Surah al -Qamah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فدعا ربه أني مغلوب فانتصر ففتحنا أبواب السماء بماء منهمر Inshallah, by the power of Holy Qur'an and by the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu accept from us, Ya Rabbi, from Ahbab and Nabi Sallallahu and your faqir and weak servant and Abdul Ajiso, Miskeen and Zalim and Jahal wa bi hurmat Muhammad and Mustafa and Ya Rabbi, all our Ahbab, all our lovers, all those who are watching wherever they are in difficulty Protect us, Ya Rabbi. Adrikna, Ya Rabbi, Ya Allah, Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azim, from their viruses and this sickness and this azab that you're putting on to earth, Ya Rabbi. Protect us and grant us a najat, Ya Rabbi. Encase us with your divinely breaths from your nafas of rahmah, that your breath is to breathe into us, Ya Rabbi. Save us from every difficulty and azab and grant us your rida and satisfaction. Keep us under the intercession and nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, under the nazar of Ahl al-Bayt. Ya Asadullah al-Qalu bi madadakum and nazarakum. That there is no hand that can relieve us if the hand of Imam Ali is not upon us. There is no wilayat and no sainthood without the hand of Sayyidina Ali salam. That his nazar and his hand be upon us. That his, his ferocious reality to be encompassing us and safeguarding us. Keep us with the lovers of Ahl al-Bayt, Ya Rabbi. Keep us with the lovers of Ashab al-Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. dunya wa fil ard And all your only Allah, that their nazar be upon us and that their blessings be upon us from Budal, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad, Wal Akhyar. Ya Ghawth and Aghithya. That your nazar be upon us and that you grant us a najad and a safety. Although we walk through this valley of death, that we don't fear, Ya Rabbi, that you are with us. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa. وبسير سورة الفاتحة